we can also measure the ultimate tensile strength. In other words, we can measure the value for f over a when it broke. So that happened, I think, wasn't that 8 kilograms? So it will be 80 divided by the area that we know. And so that gives me 80 divided by 2 times divided by 10 to the minus 7. And that is 4 times 10 to the 8 newtons per square meter. And this is also newtons per square meter. And that's not bad. It's a little higher than we have there, but it's a very crude measurement. And don't forget, we were unable to follow the portion when it was going down. We only went up in mass, in, in, in weight. And so that value there takes into account that the curve comes down, something we could not do. We didn't have the means of doing that.